What's up everybody and welcome to Avia John's Kitchen. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Today we're going to show you guys how to make authentic Jamaican Escovitch Fish and Festival. I'm telling you I haven't had that in a minute. This is a simple, easy, easy recipe. Because you know how I do on my channel. We're not going to stay in the kitchen for long. Okay? Please, please, please guys don't forget to like this video, share, comment and subscribe. Click the link down below. For my social media, Ava Jones Kitchen, for Instagram, for Facebook, CJ's Catering Personal Chef LLC. Come on, we're going to show you the recipes. So guys, we have a whole fish and this is a parrot fish. If you can't find parrot fish, you can use snapper. Um, whichever fish that is fine. I know snapper fish is easier to get than parrot fish, okay? Then we have our festival and you can get this at any grocery store. If you look in the Jamaican aisle, you will find it. We have our... Uh, Next we have our fish fry seasoning and this is optional, you don't have to use it. You can just go ahead and fry the fish just like this. By the way, I marinate the fish beforehand in, um, with my salt and my, with my seasoning salt and my pepper. Okay. Then, come here, we have our bell peppers. And as usual, I like my bell peppers with all the colors of the rainbow. I have my yellow, I have my red, I have my orange, I have my green. Our shredded carrots, we have some butter. This is a whole habanero pepper or scotch bun, it would be good. I couldn't find a scotch bun. This is a whole pepper, a little bit of sugar, allspice or pimento. We got our white vinegar, oil, salt and pepper, and our seasoning salt. So the first thing I'm going to do, and with the festival, the only thing you need with the festival is water. The first thing I'm going to do, is make my festival dough and put it aside just to just to rest a little bit a little with, with the festival a little goes a long way okay my gloves on Start my water keep adding water little by little you don't want to add too much water and then you spoil it you get too many too much water in it just want to add enough so that's why I'm adding it a little bit at a time ah, I got a good angle good, good. My, my camera woman is is she's improving with time guys <laughs> excuse me <laughs> you've been doing good the whole time you have you have been there you have it, festival dough. Oop, almost fell. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just wrap it, the saran wrap, and then I'll put this. I don't know why it kind of looks like a Japanese or Chinese dumpling. Korean dumpling. And I'm just gonna put this to the side. You guys, now I have the oil. It is nice and hot. And my sous chef Caressa Johnson. Really? And my sous chef Caressa is gonna help me to make my escovite sauce. Gonna add the bell peppers. I'm gonna add all of it. We're gonna all right, and we're gonna saute that. Get that going. Looking good, looking awesome. We're also going to add an onion. Don't be scared. I'm not. See those nice color guys, those awesome colors. Now I'm going to come with the carrots. Get that going. 
this is a very, very colorful dish. And if you see the belly, if, and if you've seen the videos before, you know that I like my colors. I like quick and easy, colorful meals, fun meals. You know, get my peppers. Having fun, Carissa? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that. The veggies are getting nice and tender. See the red, gold, and green. Add my allspice. You guys, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Remember, if you need a personal chef in the Atlanta area, go ahead and DM me on my Instagram. That's Ava John's Kitchen. Also, Facebook, CJ's Catering and Personal Chef, LLC. Nice, vibrant colors. Now, Escobie's Fish and Festival is something in Jamaica that we normally get when we go to the beach. And you know, there's something about going to the beach that makes you hungry. Okay, mm -hmm. you go on the I always want shrimp when I go to the beach. Oh, yeah. You go on the side, you, you take a little break. Oh, that's the best fish and festival. Okay. All right, guys, now we're going to add the vinegar. Look at all those beautiful colors. Just keep mixing. It'll be fine. If you could smell what Avia is cooking, well, Caressa. So you see, look at this. Look at the vibrant colors. Look at that. Look at the colors. Of the rainbow. Colors of the rainbow. You know what I said? I wasn't going to sing anymore. So let me have. All right. So now I'm going to add my butter. Yay, butter. Wait, you add butter to this? <laughs> uh -huh. Butter makes it better. In case y'all didn't know. Then a little bit of sugar to balance that sourness that from the vinegar. I'm still surprised by all the things that you put in there. It just tastes like you don't put any of that in. <gasps> it still tastes good. It just doesn't really t taste like you use those type of ingredients. Okay. Add my seasoning salt. Look at that. Oh, Caressa. I don't think this is going to be enough for me and you, baby. Do you want to eat like a burger or something? No? Okay. I dare you to say that again. <laughs> <laughs> she would cry. You ever seen anybody cry over food? <laughs> she probably would. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, look at that. Uh, I really would. Look at that nice Maybe. sauce. Okay, so I'm going to let this simmer for about five minutes. That guys, the uh, sauce yes. is the sauce is just about done. Mm -hmm. Good job, Caressa. Uh, you're welcome. So Chef Caressa is gonna help me with my fish fry. I've breaded a piece. All right, go ahead. Make sure your kids' hands are clean before they do this. Go ahead. Add it to the oil and then do the rest. God, I put the oil on medium. You do not want the oil to be too hot because what's going to happen is the fish is going to fry on the outside. It's going to re be real nice and golden brown. And then on the inside, it's going to be raw. And, 
as you can tell this is a thick piece of fish so you make sure you want to have medium to low heat and then when you head mm -hmm. everything medium to low heat and then when the fish is is almost done you turn it on high just to get that little crunch and then that's it little messy but she's doing a good job <laughs> isn't it always messy when you have to deal with powder <laughs> Okay. And I know that the fish head is scary to some folks, not to me. Eh, a little bit. Not a lot. It's scary. You can go ahead and get it out of here. <laughs> get the fillet or get it without the, the, the head. Okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn the fish. Flip it. Flip it real good. No, I already put them through. I think I should put them through there. This one. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. You can do it! <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. You're welcome. I'll give you a raise. I'll think about it. Hey, you don't even pay me half the time. <laughs> you give me $1 something? <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. We, didn't, we ain't gonna let them know all that. <laughs> Yo. Fry me. Fry me. Fry me. Woohoo. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Fry me. Okay, so I have two more left. I already took two pieces out because these are thinner. These are the really thick pieces, so I left them in there just a little bit longer. Now I've been cooking this for about 20 minutes. Okay, you can take it out. You can take out the you can take them out. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the fish. And I put it on the napkin because I wanted to absorb the oil. Just absorb that oil and Ooh, it looks nice inside. Mm-hmm. Nice and crunchy. Okay, so now we want to keep the same oil in there and now we're going to make our festivals. Now in the same oil, we're going to go ahead take off a small piece, put it in our palms and roll it and then we kind of flatten it out just like this. And if it's a little sticky, you can get some flour just to make it less sticky. You want to add it to the oil. You want to turn the oil on medium because the same like the fish, you don't want it to cook on the outside and then it's doughy on the inside. So you put that in there. Keep repeating. Festival is something that you cannot put and walk away. You have to pay attention to them. Because before you know it, you're burnt. Check it. You want to see that nice golden color? Wow, that's that was fast. That yes. That was fast. Very fast. You have to watch it. Maybe I can fit another one. going to take about five minutes. It does not take long. I said you just want to put it on low so it's not cooked on the outside and then raw on the inside.
Okay guys, and this is the end result. You see that nice golden brown? That's what you're looking for. Okay. One of the good things about the Escovite sauce is you can this can last for a few weeks because it got the um, vinegar because it got the vinegar you can preserve it. I got this bottle from Walmart. I spent just a few dollars on it, not a lot. But all you do is you put your sauce in your bottle. Add. Okay. And you want to put this to cool, but pretty much got your nice escovite sauce. This is the end result. Got our fish and festival. Nice fish. Escovitch Fish Festival. Got an Escovitch sauce. Now I'm going to enjoy this. Okay, here you have it Escovitch Fish and Festival. This is a nice, delicious meal. It doesn't take long. This is about maybe 30 minutes. Yeah, about 30 minutes or less. I am going to enjoy this. Guys, please, please, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the link at the bottom. If you guys need a personal chef in the Atlanta area, DM me, Avia John's Kitchen at Instagram, or you can check me. Make sure you're being safe, and I hope everybody's having a great day. I want to thank my sous chef slash cameraman, Caressa. Caressa, thank you so much. Love you, baby. And see everybody. I'll see everybody next time. I'll see everybody next time. Bye-bye.